Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. In this video, we have an update on the Clayton Eckert paternity scandal. Actually, multiple updates to get to. Probably multiple videos. It might be the busiest day in the Clayton Eckert paternity scandal that we've had since this story broke. I would rather not call it the Clayton Eckert paternity scandal. It's more like the lady we are calling Jane Doe, short for Janeth Doe, Dodo Bird III, has accused Clayton of being the father of her unborn twins now, say she's no longer pregnant key phrase no longer well it looks now that jane's lawyer drops her that's right her new lawyer has dropped her and we've got a list kind of going right now of all of the different lawyers who have dropped her or she has gotten rid of and it's pretty fascinating follow me on instagram at dneals i'm going to continue this conversation on patreon we're almost at a thousand patreon members it's absolutely unreal how many people have supported the channel in these very very strange times. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'll be live at 10 a.m. And also this afternoon, Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast. If you listen to Bachelor Rush Hour this morning, you got this breaking news. But there's so much more to get into in this video, including this possible motion to quash deposition of petitioner. Well, the Court documents are coming in. We're going to get to them in the next video because they literally are just arriving in the inbox right now. So we're going to have that story. But what's more interesting is actually that The Sun wrote an article, a lot of content we've already covered, but they included Clayton's side after they printed the article. Janeth Doeth uh, uh, probably demanded they share her side. So we're going to get into both those things. But first, now what's going on with this lawyer dropping Jane Doe. I mean, she, they took the case, what, five days ago? So, you know, just recently, here are the different lawyers that have been used um, by Jane Doe in different court cases. There's the lawyer with GG, which stands for Greg Gillespie, multiple lawyers, litigation attorney, they withdrew. Um, there was a personal injury lawyer, withdrawal, um, another litigation attorney at the bottom there. Clayton, they had Beretta Law, fired her. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, the uh, order of protection, Joshua Lopez, still active, I guess, since he won that case. Clayton Paternity, Alexi, Lexi Lindvall. That is the new one, which we need to update here, that I guess, guess withdrawal. Now, withdrawal with consent. Now, you have my lawyer, that's right, being sued for a uh, harassment uh, here February 8th in Los Angeles Superior Court. There's her lawyers there. So a lot of lawyers for a 33-year-old woman, right? I mean, that's a lot. I mean, a lot of things are going on to need that many lawyers. Well, in this case, reading some notes I received here from sources, the attorney would normally hint in their pleading as to the reason why they are no longer representing their client. But apparently, we haven't seen these documents yet, in the reading, in the in the pleading, there is no reason given. All we know is Jane Doe's attorney filed to withdraw as her attorney. And because Jane Doe um, uh, gave consent for this withdrawal, they don't need uh, sort of any reasoning. My, my assumption is, and let me know lawyers in the comments here, if Jane Doe was, say the lawyer was like, I don't want to deal with this nonsense. And then Jane Doe is like, no, you have to represent me. The lawyer would then, if doesn't have the consent of Jane Doe, have to ex ex explain why they're dropping them. Um, and uh, in this case, has the consent. Could it be that, in it, plenty of things could have happened. It could have been that the bill, the check didn't come in. You know, Jane Doe's lawyer might have been like, all right, where's that uh, $6,000 retainer? I just did all this work. And then Jane Doe's like, well, I got to wait for this guy to come in. And once the Airbnb takes off, we don't know. We have no idea. That's a very obvious reason as to why someone would withdraw. Uh, another reason would be that they have um, conflicting strategies. Maybe, maybe um, Jane Doe's lawyer said, all right, I'm going to file all this about you no longer being pregnant, does the filing. And then she's like, all right, now, send me those sonograms and all the evidence from your actual pregnancy. And then Jane Doe's like, you mean my notes I have from a neurologist? And then the lawyer goes, oh, this is all BS. We don't have anything here. I'm just going to leave this right now. Uh, so maybe that's the case. Again, we have no idea. We'll probably never know, but we're going to continue on to this story here with what's going on. Very, you know, bravo to the sun for finally sharing Clayton's side. Now, I know for a fact that they've asked for Clayton to comment in the past, and he's 
pretty much said, I'll only comment if you share the truth, if you share the full story, if you share what's going on. And if they weren't willing to do that, it's probably like, well, then I'm not going to comment. Like, why why give an update if you're only going to share half-truths? And they pretty much shared half-truths in the beginning. Now, if you look at uh, their first article, like, legally speaking, like, no, of course they covered their ass. Everything was allegedly this, and the person says this, but it was super damning super damning. If you ask a bunch of random people, and this is the only article they ever read, they think he's a monster based on this. Well, now we have his response. So let's plow through this article. The only plowing that's been done in this case, we know Clayton actually never had sex with Jane Doe, even though she claims they were quote unquote intimate, uh, which of course we now know to be uh, oral sex. The Bachelor star Clayton Eckert's ex-fling generous uh, has claimed she's no longer pregnant after a nasty paternity battle the U.S. son can exclusively reveal. First of all, they're not exclusively revealing that. We covered this, um, you know, days ago. So I don't know what the hell they are talking about here. For ex- I, Can you just say exclusively? I exclusively reveal this article sucks, but here we are, exclusively. Uh, leave an exclusive comment if you don't mind. Uh, anyway, four months after Clayton, 30, was accused of fathering the woman's unborn twins, she made a bombshell claim in an Arizona court filing. All right, we covered that, blah, blah, blah. Now let's go to what he has to say. Uh, the former bachelor on December 28th, uh, the ex-fling filed a motion to dismiss with prejudice her petition that was initially filed in August, uh, which means, uh, you know, it's permanently dismissed and can't be brought back to court. Uh, nothing to see. Moving on now. Off to the next person. Uh, just downloading her Bumble at the right time. You know what I mean? Get off the dating apps. No, I'm going to get another one. Uh, it's like Pokemon. How many men can I catch? Uh, <laughs> according to court docs, exclusively obtained by the, son, the U.S. son, the petitioner, who wishes to remain anonymous in the media, claims she was no longer pregnant. Oh, how kind of her to want to remain anonymous, even though on her own Facebook, she wants to use my name and say I'm harassing and cyber bullying her and then deletes her video because what she realizes is she's going to draw a lot of attention to the truth. And you never want that. Meanwhile, I'm over here like, hello, all friends of Jane Doe. Come up, come one, come all take a seat here and let's go over the evidence. Why don't we? The 33-year-old, po- ooh, an older lady, Clayton. The 33-year-old podcast host from Scottsdale noted in the documents, petitioner acknowledges that she is no longer pregnant with respondent's child. So here's what's interesting. <laughs> Even though she's now representing herself, she's still using legal terms. She's like speaking in the third person law-wise. Petition- Jane Doe says, petitioner acknowledges uh, that she is no longer pregnant with respondent's child, meaning there is no paternity to establish. Yeah continue. There is nothing left for this court to adjudicate and this case should be dismissed. Well, how about the court of public opinion? I'm not dismissing this case and I'm holding off. I'm holding court right now. Uh, hear ye, hear ye. The petitioner further, I just, can, can you imagine them calling themselves by the petitioner in third person? Uh, the respondent would like to know where you would like me to finish. The petitioner says it's no problem. To, okay, come on, folks. This is disgusting. Uh, isn't it? It's gross. It's love. <laughs> What happens with the next fling? The petitioner further described her current state as not now pregnant. She initially said she expected to give birth to twins on February 14th. Uh, The petitioner also doesn't say what happened to the children, where the death certificate is, where the birth certificate is. Are they alive? She's no longer pregnant, but what does that mean? Did she give them up for adoption? Did she let Clayton know? Are they, do they not exist? In which case, where's the paper trail? Okay, all those things. There was no explanation given as to what had happened during the supposed pregnancy. The reality star's ex, however, is still requesting she be awarded attorney's fees and costs in a virtual evidentiary hearing to hash things out between her and Clayton through the court. Oh, boy. So she, she just wants it all. The U.S. son has reached out to the petitioner for comment. Uh, and again, she had given her comment. Uh, Clayton, for his part, told the U.S. son in a statement, this filing by her was not a surprise to me, as not only is she no longer pregnant, but she was never pregnant at any point in time with my children. My hope is that the judicial system will bring her to justice here soon through exposing the many false accusations that she has made. After a publication, the petitioner told the U.S. Sun that she firmly stands by everything she had previously claimed and that she had a positive pregnancy test at one point, which also, you know, if you can look at a pregnancy test the wrong way and get a positive. Hey, now, here, what do you say? Two, two bars? Come on. No, there could be a million things that trip a positive pregnancy test. What about all the other testing? What about the 20 plus weeks? I mean, literally almost six months of testing that would go on. Fuck the pregnancy test. 
Throw that shit out the window. What about everything else? Do you firmly stand? Well, your honor, I, th- I put a silicone belly on. I firmly believe it. I believe as firmly as this belly is that I'm not completely wasting the court's time. What I'm using here is an employing the art of humor to make fun. So everything I say isn't always the factual information. Do I know if she was making up the baby belly? No. Is it my belief that she did? Yes. I firmly believe that. Um, uh, Whoever thought we would be examining belly buttons. The belly button hasn't popped. All right. My hope is that the judicial system will bring her justice. And then she says she previously stands by everything. Uh, Stand by me when I'm not pregnant. Okay, she had previous when I've got no ultrasounds, she had previously claimed in that she had a positive pregnancy test at one point, which was also documented in court documents that confirmed her pregnancy and was corroborated by a test at a medical facility. Boy, could that be more vague? A, not ooh, not a test at a medical facility. The anonymous woman has argued in the court docs that Clayton's crowdsourced his attorney's fees through GoFundMe. Um, she wrote in the documents, respondent did not personally incur attorney's fees, and it is doubtful that he intends to reimburse. First of all, she better be very careful about arguing this case because he could sue her in two seconds for defamation over all of the speaking engagements he lost. I mean, he knows that she reached out to places to essentially get him canceled. Hey, Next exhibit, let's de- let's depose Chase J. Jones too. Hey, Chase, are you busy? Come on, get in here. You're the next contestant. Do you firmly stand by the articles you wrote to cancel Clayton? She wrote in the documents, responded didn't incur these costs. To date, there are 335 donations totaling 8130. Clayton's goal on the GoFundMe page is 10,000. The fundraiser was organized by a person named Dave Neal who said that Clayton can use help. Okay, so we got all of that. We already shared all of that. They didn't really share any more information. They did mention that Clayton argued about the fetal DNA and and this and that. So very good that we've got um, uh, Clayton now sharing his side. At least that's on the record. And of course, we have Susie here defending Clayton, one of the few people, uh, one of the few Bachelor alumni that has publicly spoken and defended Clayton. Hey, sorry, buddy. I thought there was going to be more support out there. It turns out most people spineless and only worried about themselves. I'm talking to you content creators who haven't covered this story. I'm talking to you. Stand firm. You want to dabble in entertainment news? Giddy the F up. Let's go. Uh, oh, but now that some other people are reporting on it, maybe we'll cover it. Get out of here. Where were you when we needed Yeah. So either way, that's the update. Jane's lawyer drops her. Jane's now um, going to be, I guess, riding solo, as it were. Um, in uh, No more HOV lane for Jane Doe, as she's going to be riding solo to court, whatever the hell that means. And we'll have to see what the judge decides to do. She's asking for all these motions to dismiss. Clayton's side, they want a deposition, which would be like a sworn statement on video. She would be at forced to go back and forth with lawyers. She doesn't want that. Trust me. You don't want to deal with these these woodnick ladies, okay? They are good. These lawyers, you don't want to mess with them. They will catch you as she's learned. And I thought it was interesting that Jane Doe had a female lawyer. Again, not to be sexist at all, but it was like, oh, Clayton gets a female lawyer to cross-examine her. I'm going to get a female lawyer. Why, why is this important? Well, because you're talking about the, the, the female body. You're talking about things that a, a female lawyer would know more intimately than a sort of bro lawyer being like, oh, uh, what's in the ovary again? You know, whatever. So either way, I've got another update. It's probably coming right after this. Make sure you're subscribed Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy us putting our neck on the line to cover this stupid story, and I mean, literally, every single video I make, she's like, you're making money off of this. My lawyer's forced to read your stupid emails, and I keep on getting that, you know, one step forward, 10 steps back, okay? So I appreciate all those that have joined the private community to help us recoup some of those funds. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'll share a few more updates for you as they come in on Patreon. We'll be back with more right after this.